Hi there. Today we're going to talk about recovering from sexual assault, sexual trauma. So I have experienced these things myself. Um, I was sexually abused as a child. I was raped at the age of 10 and things just went downhill from there. And I've managed to heal from this, although it's an ongoing journey, maybe for the rest of my life, but I've gotten to a really good place. So I wanted to share with some of you that may still be struggling with recovery. So first off, I want to tell you that what happened to you was not your fault. And in order for us to begin to move forward, we really need to be able to release the guilt and the shame that is associated with sexual trauma, sexual abuse, and rape, because it's not your fault what happened to you. And we need to really come to an understanding that there's nothing that we could have done to control the situation, that we were literally helpless. And if you were a child, you really, even your mind was not capable of understanding and absorbing um, what was going on. And then as an adult, sometimes we are overcome by power or just in a situation where the power balance is off. Um, so you cannot hold blame to yourself for this. This is very important to be able to release these feelings. The way I've been able to do it is through therapy, group therapy and individual counseling, and then also marriage counseling with my husband because we bring these issues with us into our relationship. So please remember that what happened to you was not your fault. And secondly, we need to really rebuild our self-worth. So when someone said to me that it seems like your problem is that you have low self-worth, I was really surprised because I never really looked at it in that way. I suppose I just thought I was a victim of my circumstances. But when I started to realize that my self-worth had been lowered by the situations that I had been in, I realized that I could begin to take that power back by slowly rebuilding my self-worth. And it's not an easy task, but in some ways it is. So for me, the ways that I've been able to do that is through sport, um, getting involved in triathlon and later on cycling really helped to build my self-confidence and my self-worth. And also I began writing and reading a lot of books, which I really enjoyed doing as a child. And those things really sparked that inner child curiosity and helped to kind of cultivate some more self-worth for me. And the third thing that for me was really important in recovery is learning how to trust. So we can get into relationships with people and we still carry these issues with us, then we're not going to fully trust in the other person. We're sort of always waiting for the other shoe to drop maybe. So learning how to trust someone else can be very challenging for someone that has been sexually traumatized. So the way that I was able to do this is through therapy, individual therapy, and also group therapy I found really great because when I was in a setting with other women that were also sharing their experiences and their traumas, I was able to see that I wasn't so alone, that other people were feeling fear, that other people were feeling shame and guilt, and that these things were totally normal, that I wasn't alone, I wasn't suffocating by myself. Other people felt this way. So when I could understand that they felt this way, it helped me to be more courageous to share my story. And the more we talk about our story and share our struggles, the less alone we feel and we just release it. We get to release it. So I find storytelling and sharing a very important part of learning how to trust again. And then also with our spouse or partner, if you're struggling with that, uh, couples therapy is amazing to help you to learn how to rebuild that trust. And we have to understand that we do carry these things with us. So if you're not trusting your partner, you know, really look deep within to find out is, has they, have they really done something to you that makes it so that you can't trust them? Or are you carrying residual pain and trauma from your past? And then finally, I know this sounds cliche, but what happened to you was not your fault. So you can follow along. I've been writing a blog, sharing some of my journey um, at theunfoldingproject.com. And also you can um, find some inspirational stuff on Instagram. And I have written my life story as a self-help book, uh, which will be published in a few months. And I'm so excited to share it with you all. And hopefully um, by me sharing all my pain and trauma and healing journey can help motivate you or inspire you to begin your own healing journey. 
So take care for now and I will see you on the next video.